Look at your stupid face. Uh, no, so I'm so excited. excited. Like, excited. Like, okay. I, was yeah. like, I, hope, I hope I don't total this <laughs> car. <laughs> Jamie should uh, critique her room clearing skills oh, here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's she's, she's, she's <laughs> killing it. She can tell you, Benicio del Toro shooting the guy, and he does this thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> like oh, what that the f is that? Yeah. If you talk to the director of the CIA like that, he would kick your ass out of the room. I don't care who you found. <laughs> Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. I'm Richard Bryan. Today, I'm joined by Dan Holloway and Jamie Caldwell. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I always love being here. <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting for. I haven't had as much coffee as you. I was waiting for a response here. I was like, I don't know what I was waiting for, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. Yeah, it's early. it is, yeah. it is. Uh, so today, we queued up some clips specifically on MVGs. First one up. It so puts the classic. lotion in the basket, yeah. man. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. <laughs> Mr. My Family will pay cash. Buffalo I was hoping we'd Bill have the Joe Bob? Dirt version of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's better. It puts the lotion on. You have no idea what kind of hell I can bring you! Oh, all right, enough! But yeah, and this, he's got some night vision. Yeah, he's got the old green We never hear about uh, this dude's backstory too much. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. We need to do a prequel. So maybe you should just make one up right now while we're watching him lower the candles down. What's what, his background? What, what year did this come out, 91? Yeah. He looks like he's in his mid 40s, maybe into his late 40s. He places the lotion in the basket. He probably would have been serving around the Vietnam era, right? Yeah, okay. What the fucking lotion in the basket? And we weren't using too much night vision back then, I don't think. We had it. So we had, the, yeah. yeah, so that old stuff from back then, what they had to do was stack tubes. Because right, the yeah, tube yeah. technology yeah. wasn't very good, so it would only amplify, you know, so the way it works, I'm gonna geek out for mm -hmm. a little bit here. Yeah. The way it works is you have a photon of light. Well, when it comes into the tube, it gets turned into an electron. Mm -hmm. and then it gets amplified. Right. So early on, there was not a lot of amplification. So what they did is they would stack tubes. So the right. stuff from like Vietnam, you would see where there's three tubes in like the starlight scope. When using the starlight scope at night, care must be taken to keep the viewing eye pressed firmly against the eye shield. Mm -hmm. You know, big old yeah. scope on somebody's rifle. But, so it worked, but... But the thing is, that, that wasn't standard issue for the military no. in the same way that nods are now. So this dude, backstory-wise, government operator of some sort, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they never, they never addressed that. Yeah. You know, you, what's the problem, officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. But again, that's a pretty nice house for yeah. a guy that's just murdering people. We bought this house uh, two years ago. What's his, what's his day job? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's something that pops in my head. Freeze! Put your hands over your head and turn around. Spread your light. Freeze! Look at that hand cannon this yeah, woman's Finger carrying. on the trigger. She's ready. Yeah. yeah. Ready to go at Although any second. She doesn't have the, the hammer back, so she's not as ready as she should be. You're all right, Catherine. Now, where is he? How the fuck should I know? I like how she just waves it around, though. Oh, yeah. Well, no. you know, what I learned from working with local national forces is that 360 degree security just means shooting in every direction yeah. anytime there's any threat at all. <laughs> Catherine, I've got to leave this room. I'll be right back. Don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch! Nothing like not having even a, even a flashlight or something. Oh, yeah. She knows she's crawling into somebody's basement, no flashlight. And nothing. she's like a special agent in the FBI, right? Yeah. I'm still in training at the academy. I think they issued them flashlights back then. I'm just <laughs> guessing. Maybe it was one of those elbow flashlights. Yeah, Jamie should, <laughs> Jamie should uh, critique her uh, her room clearing skills oh, here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's, 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 she's <laughs> killing it. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Points of domination. Yeah, every just... corner. Nothing like a single female just going into some dude's basement that you know is a serial killer and skins people alive, and she's there all by herself. That's, oh, that's human stew. Mm. There we just go. went dark. There we nice. go. I mean, that's not an, an, a, a terribly inaccurate representation of what looking no. through 14s would be like. <sighs> 
Now, do you really think she would continue to just clear in pitch ass dark? Can't see nothing. I just start shooting. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let the muzzle, <laughs> give me a little bit of light. Let, let the muzzle flash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least wash it because these are old knives. That would have washed out his uh, his knives. Yep. At this point, it's self preservation. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Let's oh, see what boy. he's got. They just took old film cans and... I think so, yeah. <laughs> they almost look like old PVS-5s, yeah. but I have never seen some with tubes that good. Did PVS-5s create light for themselves? Yep. There, there was a little yep. IR on there? Yep. You had Gen Zero tubes, mm. which had to have a light source. So back like World War II. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they had to have like yeah. an IR light source wherever you look to illuminate it. But then the Gen 1 tubes were the first ones that could actually gather light themselves. Yeah, so these did gather their own. But even, even with current tubes, it's going to be pretty damn dark. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of ambient light down there because it has to have light. She's using her senses. She definitely murdered this dude. <laughs> I think he's no. got toilet paper Is it paper murder, tubes. though? You know, I just like the word, to be oh, honest. Okay. <laughs> I'll give him some credit, though. I mean, for the time frame this movie was done, mm -hmm. the quality of the night vision shot was pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Thank you. We need a Buffalo Bill prequel. That's all I'm really getting out of this. Yeah. I need to understand who this man is. Yeah, we need to know a little bit more about him. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. Patriot Games. Yeah. Where are you taking me, Marty? It's you who've taken us, Jack. The first one of these, it was Alec Baldwin as Jack Ryan. Yes. No, this is Dr. Ryan. And then he left the series. What the hell happened? Come on. And Harrison Ford took over. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so here's an overhead shot of white phosphorus, right? I think this one's supposed to be thermal. Oh, is it thermal? Yeah. Have been yeah, it's showing like white, white hot thermal. Yeah. What would be the most prominent between night vision and thermal, or is it just mission dependent? Thermal is way more expensive. So, as far as like ground use and guys wearing it, you know, you're going to see way more common night vision use. They are getting more thermal integration. So the Army's new night vision goggle is the new ENVGB, this is an enhanced night vision goggle binocular, because the Army did have the monocular one. So it's kind of like a PVS-14 that had integrated thermal into it. Now they've gone to a straight binocular with it. The Marine Corps, believe it or not, like props to the Marines, they normally don't spend money on shit. They are going with an Elbit goggle that has an e -Cody. So Optics One makes that clip on thermal yeah. imager. So they're getting Basically like a PVS-31 style goggle, dual tube, white phosphor, you know, articulate out to the sides. And then they have the, the uh, E-Cody that clips on to the sides or E-Cody. This is Ryan. Any DSS agent? Any DSS agent? This is Ryan. So here they come through. These look like sevens. See, and that's more realistic. Like yeah. you can kind of see the, the honeycomb, honeycomb in there. Yeah. yeah. This is basically a monocular, mm -hmm. and then through mirrors, they split the view into both eyes. Oh, interesting. So you ha yeah, so you have night vision in both eyes, but you don't get that added depth perception because your eyes aren't working individually through individual tubes. It's just one image. But then what's funny is then the next advancement after this was the PVS-14. So then you just went to one eye. Yeah. When guys got it, I remember getting it in battalion and everybody just immediately cranks the gain way up super bright. You know, you're like, ah, I can see everything. And then your other eye can see yeah. nothing. nothing. Then the yeah. lights come on yeah, and you can't see anything at all. either eye. Yeah. Oh, nice butt stroke to the face. That's a very effective yep. way to yep. knock someone out. See, then she should have picked him up, so then she had the capability. But if you notice on that one, they're running. Remember the old head harness, oh, like yeah. the skull crusher? Oh, my God, that, that thing sucks. Oh, sucked. my God, that's horrible. Kevin! <laughs> yeah, I love all the stuff dangling off them, mm -hmm. too. All the caps and everything <laughs> that are still tied on. That's like the first thing you get rid yeah. of. Making noise. You're walking around, everything's like bopping you in the face. And yeah. It's also like, a really good idea just to walk casually through the door. 
all the stuff nowadays, I mean, you could walk into a lit room and mm -hmm. you see fine. You yeah. Know what I mean, they're not they're correct. Just, yeah, they're not gonna white up and you know make you uh, like you're blind. Oh, and look, yeah. Sam Jackson. I'm kind of curious to see what your thoughts are gonna be on the whole 13-hour uh, set of clips we got here. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, don't do that. Fuck. Yeah, we didn't do a great job here. In Benghazi, I mean. Yeah. The movie's great. What I'm telling you! We got 30 guys firing at us! 17 fed my ass. Yeah, there was a really good scene that happens just before this one where... All right, guys, eyes open. I'm gonna paint these guys with the infrared so we're all on the same page. Everybody got this guy? Roger. They do something that we do if we're setting up like a, a an amb l shaped ambush or something. Got him. This guy? Got him. You go out and you laze all the targets you can see yep. and everybody picks their sector of fire and that way, at least the first series of volleys, you know exactly where everything's going. Yeah, and in this one, you can kind of see some differences with the lasers. Everybody has this misconception right now with IR lasers. You know, oh, nobody's using lasers. Like, that's why a lot of these high, tall mounts have come out now, which I think I'm not a fan of them. Everybody's got these tall mounts because they're like, oh, everybody's passive aiming at night now with nods looking through your day site. No, they're not. The last thing a bad guy is going to see that's voted and decided he's going to shoot at somebody was maybe the, a glow on the end of my gun. But yeah. even if they have that night capability, you as a user have to be switched on enough that if your laser's too bright, then you might be shining a beam, you know, mm -hmm. from the gun too, but not all of them are. And that's why most guys are using low power now. Mm -hmm. But it's so much faster to get on a target with an IR laser, you know, because you don't have to bring the gun up. I mean, think about, you're looking through a night vision tube, which is basically a toilet paper tube. Way too much information, brother. Even if it's an EOTech that has the widest, you know, eye box on it, you're still then having to look through two toilet paper tubes as you come into a room or clear an area. You lose all other situational awareness, mm -hmm. where when you can just pop up and put your laser on something, engage, and then continue your scan, you can pick up a second and third target so much faster than trying to passively aim. Very cool, very cool. Well, it's definitely one of my favorite movies here. Did you, did you like the... Benicio Del Toro shooting the guy and he does this thing. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what that, the fuck is that? Yeah. Throw he, a little wanted, gangster in yeah. there. You know? He wanted to be, like, ATF compliant and not bring out a bump stop. No, so he, like, his <laughs> fingers. Like, yeah, I know, I, know. I, saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Now I'm picking up movement on the flare. Coming in for a closer look. Stand by. There's some thermal right there. Most people don't realize that this is one of Taylor Sheridan's movies, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, guy who's doing Yellowstone and, like... All these other like fantastic, like at least this is a great story. It's a very uh, complex issue because there's a lot of competing interests. I think that's what I liked about uh, his movies was that there was, it's not tied up in a nice neat bow, right? It's kind of chaotic. It's a little messy. Well, yeah. life is yeah. messy, man. Yeah. That's an awesome image. Oh, yeah. You can see the heat still from on his back from where he wore yeah. the backpack. Yeah. That might be just a real image. That they, that's got to oh, be. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's probably a FLIR ball from yeah. the actual yeah, heat. Yeah. Cause and now, now with the 31s, so 31s, you can plug uh, a PDA into that bitch and rip the video right off of it yeah. at this point. So there's no excuse to get it wrong now. You've been doing this too long to believe that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Epic. This is one of the best movies of all time. It really is. Do you want to see something super cool that only three people have ever seen in their lifetimes? <laughs> I love this when he's like, see that signature? Yeah. Look at it closely. I forgot who it was that signed it. Randy Jackson from American Idol. Oh, Randy Jackson from American Idol. He's like, <laughs> why do you have Randy Jackson's autograph on a martial arts weapon? Well, I was walking through the hotel and it's the only thing I had on me. He's like, <laughs> okay, well that makes sense. Now, do you want to see something really cool? Of course. Turn off the lights. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Night vision goggles. Holy Santa Claus shit. That's similar to like the old PBS fives mm -hmm. right there. Big old unit sitting on your head. You know what's amazing? They're not that noticeable on your face. Right? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that one makes sense because it's crap two off, jackasses right? in their house. Yep! Zero Dark Thirty is a movie I didn't really find all that good. We've just crossed the border, now entering Pakistan. Pakistani comms, no chatter. But Why is that? Because it's nonsense. Like this Jessica Chastain, Leon Panetta asked her who you are. She goes, I'm, I'm the motherfucker that found this place, sir. 
Really? If you talk to the director of the CIA like that, he would kick your ass out of the room. I don't care who you found. <laughs> Jackass. But this, the raid, is pretty good. Prayer room's clear. Break down Panos for everybody. So Panos, it's a four tube goggle. Preacher! So normally any night vision goggle, whether it's a dual tube or a PBS 14, you have 40 degree field of view. A pano gives you 97, mm. 98 degrees field of view. So four tubes, you're still only getting, you know, about 98 degrees right. field of view. Three, two, one, execute. Some of these movies, when you do it, you got to add the Hollywood in there. You have to, yeah. Because yeah. normally when guys come in to clear a room, you're not turning your laser on to yeah, clear your sectors. Yeah. You know, your laser comes on when you're, you know, just as your weapon's going mm. on fire. And then your laser comes off right when your weapon goes on safe. And here's an example. See that, that beam? Yeah. I mean, it's Hollywood. They made it look like that. They've added smoke mm. or they've added stuff into the uh, air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just so that you can see that laser. Which once somebody uh, is, you're in a, uh, in Pakistan and you blow something up, there's dust oh, all over the place. Then, then you'll see yeah. the laser through the air, but when you on your initial yep. approach, you probably wouldn't see it. And that's the times when, you know, as an operator, you need to be switched on enough to go, mm -hmm. oh, let me turn the power down. <laughs> yeah, see here you can see where they're in the room, there's not all that dust, and when they put the IR laser on, it's just showing right on the chest. So mm -hmm. it's not that big beam all the way back to the gun. Yeah, I'd much rather engage with my laser and nods than trying to look through my day sight. You, you said it before, but you're talking about binocular vision and then you're trying to line it up right. through two, three to five inch tubes, basically, like that's impossible. See, there's a good Osama. representation. Like, Osama. no big line. Khalid! Khalid! It's just, there's the dot. But you can see, once you start engaging, yeah. just a little bit of, you know, atmospherics in there yeah. will create that little bit of a line. Echo zero 02, moving to deck three. I'm not a huge fan of panos, honestly. I don't like them. The reason is the pano itself has four tubes, which the wider field of view is nice, mm. but it takes up so much of your vision, even the unaided vision to look around them, that it blocks a lot of other things that you would want to see because you have 200 degree field of view as a human. Mm. So everybody's right around 200 degrees. Now you go to half that, you know, 98 degrees, but you can't look around that goggle very well and you can't adjust the brightness level. No best. All clear. So being able to dim the gain down enough so that you can look around them. Because even with a dual tube goggle, if you have the gain too high, you can't see around the goggle. As you start to walk towards a doorway or you're walking in a hallway, as you get within three or four feet of something in that hallway, mm -hmm. it's totally gone from your night vision mm -hmm. view. Osama! So that's why guys, you know, a lot of times will bump into things or they drift going down a hallway and now they're hitting, you know, a lamp knocking, like they're making too much noise because they can't see around their goggle. <laughs> Got a possible jackpot. Now the brand new fused pano, which is panoramic goggle with thermal built into mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That one has an adjustable gain. So mm. now you can dim it down. You know, you can adjust the brightness level of both the thermal. What we need is a Geordie LaForge visor. The visor appliance you wear is. It is a remarkable piece of bioelectronic engineering. Yeah. All the way across the eyes. <laughs> yep. By which I quote, see much of the EM spectrum, ranging from simple heat and infrared through radio waves, et cetera, et cetera. All right, last clip I'll show you. Uh, this is actually when I reached out to you for a little bit of advice on a short timeline. <laughs> This is so fucking ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> See that? So I'm in the uh, I modified Tesla's Plaid Model S. <laughs> what? And uh, I got an illumination kill uh, on the vehicle, so everything goes completely black. So you can see, but I can't. Right. <laughs> okay. Nice. So zero to sixty in one point nine seconds. Oh, no! And then, of course, mounted a M134. Uh, in the front, because <laughs> why not? Look at your stupid face. Uh, no, I'm so, I'm excited. so excited. Like, excited. I was yes. like, I hope, I hope I don't total this fucking car. <laughs> 
So go ahead and hit your light. This guy? Oh, Sean is in this, I forgot. Famous. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I had one job. That's awesome. And here's the fun part. You can't see this. Okay. <laughs> My lights are on now. <laughs> so like, I've got IR lights. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Ready? Okay, I guess so. <laughs> This is where the panos would come into play. Yeah, it would really help for the driving and give you that wider field of view. So when you have all that muzzle flash coming out of that minigun, you'll still be able to see. Yes. Yeah, what's it feel like moving that fast and having a, a front facing weapon fire off? The feeling in your chest is really cool. I did not know that that was what it was gonna be like. Well, fortunately, I was firing bit. blanks. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so you're not getting the the recoil, yeah. the inertia coming off of like a round and Projo being in the, the actual the, the barrel. But whenever we did fire it, that was what, some of the concerns was firing it was going to deploy like safety mechanisms yeah, yeah, and like yeah. airbags go oh, off and yeah, stuff that's what like I was that. Thinking. I didn't know I was going to have to trust you that much. <laughs> Jamie, you want to tell everyone? you know, where they can find you, what you got going on and all that Yeah, so uh, one minute out, the number one, one minute out, you can come to the website. I've got my training classes up there or a lot of what I do is kind of closed classes. So I'll have agencies just reach out to me directly and I'll do classes Are you for them, specializing but... just in MVGs as other stuff? Or... Yeah, I mean, there's so many guys that are doing rifle, pistol, just range stuff that I let them handle it. Okay. Um, I'm doing mostly night vision stuff. I, I do some CQB again with you know, LE and government agencies only, yep. but at most of it's at night. So incorporating night vision into various other training. Do you want to kind of let the audience know um, who's coming to your classes, who's, you know, like if you're doing stuff for government agencies or if it's strictly uh, civilian or, or who's who's invited to these things or yeah. who can attend? I, I do both. So I have some open enrollment classes where guys can sign up. So if you're a civilian and you have the gear, the night vision gear, uh, lasers, you can get on the website, oneminuteout.com. You can look at the training schedule and see what's there and sign up. There's some open enrollment. I've got one, uh, I've got, you know, Texas, I'm usually out there. I've got um, some other ones coming up, but most of the training is law enforcement, government only. So if you're an agency and you're looking for some night vision training, especially if, you, if you're if you not deep in the night vision game, like you're just getting there, those are the guys I like to have come to the class. Because unfortunately, I get guys that, you know, yes, you need the gear to come, but they, they buy it, then they come to a class, and then they learn, crap, we just wasted a bunch of money. Mm. Yeah. You know, and that, those guys aren't getting money very often. So, so you have people come to class that have no gear? Yes, once in a while. Like, okay. um, they just need to contact me first. I have some loaner gear, and if I know well enough in advance, I can get some other stuff. L3 is pretty good about lending me, you know, I can Well, that's really good to home. know, too, that people can come to you as a resource when they're looking to get into the, the world and the information all around, because it's, it's, it's so overwhelming at times when you're like, okay, I want to I wanna approach this, this subject, and then you get, like, all these uh, armchair quarterbacks in the world, and it's really hard to digest that information. So make sure you hit Jamie up on you know, on Twitter, Instagram, where are you most active? Yeah, most, most active on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, or you can message me through the website. Fair enough. All right. Dan, you want to push the podcast? Yeah, you know, sure, that fun yeah. stuff? What yeah. you got going on? At Dan Holloway everywhere. Citizen Podcast, Ricky Bros Podcast. We do a lot of fun stuff. I mean, that's concise. That's one way to put it. All the links in the description below. Appreciate you guys stopping by. If there's anything that you want to see us do in a future episode, any other guests, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Uh, for Dan Holloway and Jamie Caldwell, I'm Richard Ryan. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Wait, so you said you can't hide from thermal. Now, according to uh, Predator, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, just cut yourself this, in some mud. Cold mud and yeah. good. I like that he's barefoot, too. Oh, yeah, big time. Shoes are foot prisons, right? <laughs> we end up watching all these, and it has nothing to do no, with it. Nothing to do with night vision. <laughs> We're just sitting here watching the movie. But you got the balaclava on, so you're good. Maybe he just had COVID. That's it? Yeah, that's he's it. just trying to protect us. I've only seen some of the movies. Mm. I'm not a big book reader. Uh, readings for nerds. Words. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, oh, whip, yeah. whip. Yeah. yeah, they fight like it's Korea still. Right. Like they suck at war, man. I'm, no offense, Russia, but you guys suck <laughs> at war. Yeah.